this is the silhouette of what a normal ankle looks like. This is what chronic tendonitis of the tibialis anterior looks like. See how there's normal and then a big bump and then down onto the rest of the tendon. This is something I haven't been able to combat because I haven't had the money for lace bite protectors. Thanks to Joshua Green supporting my Buy Me A Coffee page, I was able to get lace bite gel pads. Unfortunately, I do still have to wear headbands around my right ankle because my skates are garbage. Custom skates are out of the question, so I'm just gonna try and build scar tissue on my right ankle as well. If you wanna donate to a broke college student trying to play professional hockey, link is in the description. The focus of today's game is to keep my butt down so it's squatting more and my chest up so I take up more net and it's easier to move. I'm also focusing on keeping my chin down because I ended up taking a puck to the neck in a pickup game a few days ago, even though I wear a dangler. I'll try to keep this game mostly game breakdown because there aren't really any developments in the pro hockey situation as far as what team I'm going to play for, other than I did receive a new deal that is pretty awesome, but I'm just not sure if I can afford the school. And again, that's about as much detail as I can give, I can't get into the specifics too much. This game is a great example of what happens when you only play and never get the chance to practice outside of a game situation. So I've been so focused on my stance, my movement, and my posture that I was forgetting the instinctual side of the game, like reading the play and reading the stick. And it doesn't matter how good you can move if you don't know where you're supposed to move because you didn't read the play. And it causes you to do weird things like this that you would normally never do, like this wrist-breaking save. This is a really easily preventable goal. I just didn't push hard enough or in the right direction. This camera angle looks really cool, but it's really bad for gameplay breakdown because you can't see any of the post movements or anything that's going on behind the net. What I do love about this angle is that it shows the footwork and the small adjustments that I'm making constantly that I didn't even know that I was doing. What I love about this save is that I fixed what I should have done on the first school. My hips turn to face the shooter and I slide in the right direction. also very preventable. I had good depth, but I was caught mid-shuffle and I didn't have my right leg dug into the ice so I couldn't push back the opposite direction, so instead I just fell.
is a good save, but it would have been better if my hands were more projected and I took that trailing right leg and brought it back in so I had a seal in the five hole and I could have stood up straighter. I'm not really sure how I feel about this goal. I trusted that my defenseman had the back door, so I took the shot. But then the shot was intentionally wide to go to the back door, so I missed the shot. Then it went off the guy's skates. So I don't know, what do you think? Should have had my stick and pad on this one, but I was going to push so it slipped under my pad and they tapped it in from behind me. example of properly turning my hips. Maybe I just suck at doing it to my blocker side. Alright folks, that's all I've got for you today, so thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.